Hello viewers, this is Ray and today I'm going to talk about wireless mouse versus wired mouse. Has the technology of wireless has caught up to the wired mouse? We'll find out today. Things to look for in a gaming mouse first is that, is it optical or laser? Uh, we have been through many years since the old days of a trackball mouse. Trackball mouse essentially installs a camera inside the internal components of a mouse and it uses a trackball. When the trackball moves, the camera will sense the trackball and it predicts the, well not really predicts, it, it moves the cursor around your, your PC. So after a few years, we don't like this ball, so we took it out and put the camera closer to the surface. This is an optical mouse. This is what we've been using for the past few years and it is the latest consumer technology that we can afford and buy. So what is an optical mouse? Well, optical mouse has a camera installed in the internal components of the mouse. What it does is it takes billions of pictures, actually thousands of pictures, and it sends right back in. Uh, I think it's uh, 1.5 K pictures uh, per second. So uh, it basically take pictures whenever you're moving the mouse and it sends the, uh, it shoots a, it emits a LED light to the surface. And when it does that, when it shoots the LED light on the surface, camera takes pictures, LED bounces back from the surface and that's how you get movement. Now there uh, has been a huge change during the years of gaming grade mouse and consumer mouse is the laser mouse. Laser mouse technology is able to track more surfaces compared to optical mouse. Um, however, they're really expensive. I mean, this one is a very fairly normal um, wireless mouse. It's for everyday use. Um, you know, it's it's not built for gaming, but it's fairly good all around. Um, this mouse, I I usually game, I used to game on it until I upgraded to a optical mouse. You can't really say it's an upgrade because this one costs twenty dollars compared to this. It's around forty bucks, but this one feels better than this one, and I'll explain why. Because this one is actually for gaming. Uh, when, when you're looking for a gaming mouse, you can, uh, if you really care about these things, these are weights that you can put inside a mouse. It gives you more precision, gives you more weight, more resistance. So you'll feel better when you're playing um, a mobile game or RTS game. Another thing to look into uh, gaming grade mouse is the uh, use of switching DPI's. For example, this mouse, I ha I can switch DPI's from here. You can press buttons up and down, you can switch DPI's. And compared to this mouse, um, you can switch DPI's right here. There's a little knob. So it goes 400 to 1.6K of DPI switch. This one goes up to 2,500 DPI. Well, I keep saying the word DPI, DPI, or actually the term DPI over and over again. What does it stand for? Well, it stands for dots per inch across your screen. Um, I'll show you an example what a DPI is and how effectively, uh, how effective it is uh, when it comes to computer gaming. However, in my opinion, DPI isn't about everything because it's all about the precision and the comfort of the mouse. Uh, a really good example um, of comfort is this mouse. Since I have a big hand, you know, fits right, uh, fits just right. You know, this one's a little bit small, so you know my hand just go over it. It doesn't feel great. This one's a little bit okay, still a little bit small, but and when I'm gaming, I, my hand just goes over the mouse. There's a few different grips from di uh, different players, depends on your style. Uh, if you're playing on a smaller mice, then you would do the claw grip. Claw grip is like, like this, I think. Yeah, there's a claw, claw grip. I'm not a huge fan of cl uh, claw grip, so I usually play palm grip, which is like this. Play on with my palms. I, I don't need to do a claw grip like this. Well, you can, but it's a lot harder. So, um, as I was saying, DPI doesn't really matter. It What really matters is the comfort and the precision of the laser. 
or the optical technology. This one, even though it does track more surfaces compared to my optical mouse, it just doesn't feel right when I'm playing on the um, on this mouse. If I feel like I'm skipping frames uh, during my gameplay session, I was able to play uh, perform a little bit better with these optical mice. So optical mice are cheaper. Uh, if you're gonna look for a laser precision mice that's uh, around the gaming grade, I found one uh, made by also made by TTE Sports, but that thing costs a whopping hundred dollars. So, do you really need to spend that much money on a gaming grade mouse? Not really. There's a lot of good companies that make cheap gaming grade mouse, and it feels great and it uh, performs well. So. For example, this one. This one only costs like twenty dollars, and I think it's one of the best gaming mouse I have ever invested on. Unfortunately, this mouse is the reason why I switched to wireless gaming mouse. Um, I've been using this mouse for quite a while, and um, I usually what I usually do is I tie these wires up together and take them out and play play video games. But downside is when you're tying these knobs out. Uh, not knobs up like you're you're destroying the the wires inside of the the mouse even though these are actually heavily braided for you know tougher situation you know people step on it or people trip on it the cords are less likely to break but all I did I just tied them up and kind of when I connect to the computer it doesn't really it doesn't function anymore also another thing that I don't like about wired mouse is that uh, if I'm, for example, if I'm playing on a lap laptop, um, I have to like go around the USB, and there's like a cord in my way, or I have to go from here or the back of my laptop. I, I just don't like it. Or I have to tie like this and plug it in. This doesn't. It's too much work, um, especially when you're doing uh, portability and when you're putting all your stuff back. You need to tie all these knobs out, and eventually, I broke it. Yeah, that's the that's the sad truth, and that is why I switched to a wireless gaming grade mouse. Now, what's good about wireless gaming grade mouse is that it's not the same as this thing anymore. The revolution or the evolution of um, evolution of wireless receivers became to a tiny USB. This thing actually connects a keyboard, also a gaming grade mouse. Actually, no, it's it's this one that does it. Uh, the Logitech unifier. I'm pretty sure most of you if you buy a Logitech wireless product, they give you a unifier uh, That thing is actually pretty crazy. You can connect like up to I don't know six devices at once But this gaming grade mouse uh, has a specific USB Solely its sole purpose is to connect this to here. So basically when you're buying a gaming grade mouse uh, wireless mouse you have to remember you're basically taking the cord out and by taking the cord out, um, you know, technology of wireless connection costs a tit uh, more. But I'd say it's worth it if you're playing uh, on your laptop. Uh, if you're playing on your desktop, yeah, sure. Get a wired one. It doesn't really matter. You just put it back of your computer and you can play on it. It doesn't really uh, it doesn't if it it doesn't really bother you. The wires doesn't really bother you um, compared when you're using a laptop. But if you're using a laptop, I highly recommend you to get a wireless mouse. Um, so things to look for is the comfort of the mouse, looks of the mouse, uh, as well as function uh, ability. Ability. So um, some gaming grade mouse like this one. You just plug it in and play. It's pretty easy. However, I do prefer the Logitech's way of how they deal with gaming situations. Um, when you connect to a computer, it does the same thing. It's plug in and play. And you have your default uh, DPI switchers right here, and you, it'll use the onboard memory on my mouse. However, if you want to get deeper into gaming, you can download their application that uh, they have on their website. Well, what it does is it has a bunch of profiles that you can do settings on. For example, I don't want this to be one, two, three, uh, mouse five and six buttons. Um, uh, maybe in League of Legends, I'll do Q W E R on the mouse, or if you're doing Diablo three, then you can do one, two, three, four right here. Um, you can do a lot of things. Uh, so 
Um, in MMO, you can assign different buttons uh, for different situations, and I find that really, really useful compared to just an onboard uh, mouse. Like you know, you're just using the onboard memory that they have installed on your mouse. You, you don't have that much variety and when you go for example if I want to play Battlefield 4 I want a higher DPI then I just do the settings uh, profile settings on there whenever I launch Battlefield 4 the settings are already there uh, I don't have to select all the DPIs again but you know th that's that's just uh, my opinion that it's better if you have a online profile for the gaming grade mouse this mouse um, is just for our um, Really, just for shooters, that's why I bought it. And this mouse, is like for MMOs um, or FPS games as well. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll leave a few mouse recommendation if you're looking for a gaming grade mouse. Those are actually uh, good. Uh, they have high quality. The price uh, feels right, and the DPI is acceptable. Um, do not worry about wireless gaming mouse running out of battery because I have a long gaming session with this mouse. I haven't actually switched the battery since last year's October. I've been gaming with this every day and I've been using the same batteries since last year's October. That's pretty damn long and um, consider how many, uh, how long I play video games and Wired mouse is I'm not a fan anymore. So, but if you if you're still looking for a gaming gray mouse, it's okay. It's all, you know, it's all on your um, it's it's just your opinion, right? So it's not my right to change the way how you think. Uh, however, wired mouse do have a higher DPI. Most of them goes up to 5,600. This, I think, the maximum uh, highest DPI I can found on a wireless gaming mouse is around. 2500 dpi so thanks for checking out this video if you're buying a great um, gaming grade mouse please leave a comment below um, I have also put a list of gaming mouse in my uh, description so if you're gonna buy some a mouse from Amazon NCIX or future shop I have left a good list there uh, you can go check it out and buy from there so thanks for watching uh, stay tuned for next week I'll probably think of another um, topic that you guys will care about. And I have, uh, I have also taken um, consider from my friends uh, the suggestions on the first video. A is uh, I talk too much, so I'm not sure if I should put the video shorter. Um, I stutter a little bit. Yeah, I'm working on that one. And my head tends to bob a lot, you know, forward and back. But that's, but that's how I do, and I do hand gestures. Yeah, I've taken all those into account. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.